At Car Advice, we know that sometimes the best people to bring some perspective to what a new car is going to be like to live with long term are those that most accurately represent the target market. With that in mind, today's lifestyle review of the new Kia Carnival brings a fresh viewpoint as we invite Busy Mum of Three Joe Abbey from mamamia.com.au for a test drive to sample how far the new Carnival has come. With a bit of a mums versus dad friendly rivalry thrown in. Running around with the kids to soccer and art class and taekwondo in school, it just never ends. I know, tell me about it. Look, we both have three kids, we spend a lot of time on the road. Yeah. Kids get bigger, life gets busier. The new Kia Carnival, that's got the best features of an SUV in regards to a high riding position, but it is also a people mover. So you've got eight seats inside and so much storage. Because it has an SUV vibe going on, but it's different. It does have an SUV vibe going on, but it is very different because it's actually designed by a guy called Peter Schrey, who's mm -hmm. the head of design at Kia. And he used to design Audis. In fact, the original Audi TT was his work. Really? That's yeah. a claim to fame. It is. I'm keen to see what it looks like on the inside. Let's check it out. Right, so we're in the top spec platinum version here and you can see it gets a lot of extra stuff. So you got this sort of wood grain uh, steering wheel, these really cool leather seats which nice. have got heating and cooled. So, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Love that. It's really comfortable. I know when we get in the car, my kids are always carrying iPods and Rubik's Cubes and my daughter has her colouring, but it's got a lot of storage. It does. It also has heaps of USB ports, so you'll have no problems charging Love them. Love that. you got this really cool satellite navigation system. Yeah. It's an 8-inch screen. It's got like, you know, automatic headlights. you got rear view camera, front and rear parking sensors. Uh, look, you've got everything in this car, so you get a lot of good technology in it. Well, safety is really important. What does it have? It's got forward collision warning, it's got blind spot detection, so it'll tell you if someone's sitting in your blind spot. Mm. It's also got smart cruise control, so you can follow the speed of the car in front. That is so great, because the kids are always so loud in the back and fighting, and I do get distracted while I'm driving, so it's good to know that it has that. It does, yeah, but it's also worth mentioning that it has a uh, 4 out of 5 ANCAP safety rating, so something to keep in mind, however, I believe that Kia are going to fix that quite soon. Excellent. Well, let's hop into the second row and check it out. Let's do it. Oh, wow, you got a ton of room back here. Beautiful, it's isn't good. it? Hey, and look, mm. you've got two isofix points in this row and another one back there so you could fit three proper child seats. You could even remove this middle one if you want a good walkway through. That's so great because you really need that extra space when your kids are teenagers, especially. I mean, I fit perfectly fine here, yeah. so they're quite spacious, but mm. I wonder how it is back there. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, yeah, it is a bit of a squeeze back here. But yeah, just a bit. It is a bit, but you know, this is not too bad. I can, uh, you know, I could probably survive back here. I could put my mother-in-law back here. <laughs> You'd rarely put the adults in the back here, though. You just put the kids. The kids are good, and you know what? If you don't need them, you can actually fold them out of the way and you get a lot more boot space. Oh, fantastic. What about when I have all the kids' stuff, you know, their school bags and their soccer gear and their skateboards and the bike? I know, and no hands, right? That's right. Yeah, look, I've been there many times, but this car's got this really good feature called power tailgate, and you don't have to do anything. You just got to sort of stand behind it for three seconds with the key in your pocket, opens the boot. Love it, nice. Look how big it is. Oh, and it's so deep. I could fit so much stuff in I know, you've got about a thousand litres of space here with all the seats up, and if you put wow. the third row down you got 2,000 if you put all the seats in their folded away position you get 4,000 litres wow. of space you know I reckon I can sleep back here if I ever get in <laughs> I trouble. I think you could yeah well I think we should take it for a drive. Alrighty. They've redone this car from scratch, so it doesn't share much with the old Grand Carnival. Now, it's got a 3.3 litre V6 in this car that we're driving, but there's also a 2.2 litre diesel available, and both cars are driven through a six-speed automatic transmission. This has got 206 kilowatts of power and 336 newton meters of torque, so, you know, it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, because I know that whenever I'm, you know, going about my day, I'm wanting to get places quickly. I like a powerful car, and also because I share my car with my husband, he wants a pretty decent engine. But it comes to fuel economy, because I spend so much money on petrol, I'm always driving around. I mean, how does this compare to other cars? The diesel is more fuel efficient. You do spend more upfront to get the diesel, and you got to spend a lot of Ks to get the money back. I mean, it feels really great. How does it feel? It, it nice feels really good. I mean, they've really done some good suspension tuning on this car. What Kia does is they send out a car here months before it comes out. Okay. And they actually locally tune the car for Australian conditions. Right. So the cars that they send from Korea are actually built for Australia. Oh. Oh, it's pretty cool, you know, not many car companies do that and they yeah. put a lot of effort into it. So you get a car that actually rides really nicely Absolutely. over Australian roads. 
Look, I know that you're a shocking passenger, but would you consider letting me have a go at driving this car? Oh, uh, look, I think if I didn't, my wife wouldn't let me back home. So I've got to pull over somewhere and uh, right. let's go for a uh, driver change. My turn. So Joe, now that I've been medicated and you're in the driver's seat, <laughs> what do you think? It is really easy to drive. It's so smooth and it's so responsive. I mean, being in this car, when I press a pedal, it does what I need instantly. It's very different from my very old 10 year old car. They've done a really good job. The old one with a big V6 engine used to chirp its front wheels every time it touched the accelerator. Really? Yeah, so they've, they've done a remarkable job of working that torque into the front suspension. So now it actually just goes over bumps easily and if you, you know, put your foot down on it, nothing really major happens. In my area, to slow down the vehicles, they've got all the speed humps and all those chicanes, you know, that you swell through. So you're always having to do little things at low speed and a car this responsive is really handy when it comes to that. Okay, so the big question, how much does this car cost? Look, this particular one is about $57,000. It's the uh, top spec petrol, but the okay. range does actually start around 42 and goes all the way to 60 for the diesel. So look, it's a lot of money in some respects, but you also get a lot for your money. You know, okay. all the seven, eight seats and all the technology for the top spec, I think it's actually, um, you know, reasonably priced. And what's the warranty? Look, it's a seven year unlimited kilometer warranty, which is- uh, That's great. Yeah, it's hard to beat. But also the Kia gives you the um, cap price servicing. So for the whole time, you get the cap price servicing. So you know exactly what the car is going to cost. So you Absolutely. can budget it properly. So then I just have to worry about petrol and buying snack foods at the overpriced service station. That's the biggest problem. I think That's right, have. those Kit Kats, I mean, when you have the urge. When it comes to space and comfort, not to mention eight seats, the Kia Carnival really does fit the brief for a larger extended family. I agree, and you know what? It actually drives a lot better than it probably looks, considering how big this thing actually is. Uh, it is still the sort of car you can drive around the city, and I can do the whole school thing in this. I can put the kids in, I can try and fill the boot. I reckon I'd be happy to do it. You know, it's harder than you think, our balls. I have to warn you, I'm pretty good at the old boot Tetris. Ah, uh, no way. I am the boot Tetris master. I am. Mate, th that's my middle name. Oh, no. But nonetheless, this sounds like a proper challenge.